Welcome to Doomsday Last Survivors. I just downloaded this Kingdom Builder on Bluestacks, and honestly, today it's been open on my computer all day long throughout work, and I've been grinding it throughout the day, and I'm actually really enjoying the game. If you guys want to be part of it and play alongside of me, my link to download the game is in the description of this video. Again, I am playing on Bluestacks. It's also available on all mobile devices if you want to try it out as well. Thanks, Bluestacks, for the opportunity. Uh, so right here, this is essentially my village that I've created. We are doing what you do inside of Kingdom Builders. You're going to be building up your power, building up your heroes, and building up your troops, and of course your structures, to then fight alongside your, your alliance mates against your foes. So let me take you around a little bit. I'm going to start out by showing you some of the heroes that I've unlocked. We've gotten some upgrades done already as well. We have Charlie. He is a shotgun guy. He has a nice big shotgun. I'll show you that inside of the campaign. We have Liam McFadden. Really nice long range guy as well. Notice you could upgrade their stars. You could also upgrade their skills and you could switch over here and you could undo and unlock their talent trees, which I've been just dabbling in a little bit. I could also reset things if I want to if I realize I don't really like how I set things up. We also have Peggy, who I like a lot also. She has some nice type of a, uh, like an electric bomb that gets thrown out and it's pretty cool. Gives you all their stats. We did just unlock this guy right here. We have some, uh, you have his skills right here. I like the way the game looks. The graphics are really nice inside of the game and uh, I don't know, I'm a fan of it. Now there's a whole bunch of other ones that I have not yet unlocked. Those will be unlocked with time, but you know what? I'm not in a rush because I enjoy the progression of these style games. Now inside of your village, which we haven't even completely upgraded yet, you have your headquarters. It's like your, your city hall, your center of everything. And we're actually on our way to level six right now, which we're gonna speed up. We're gonna use instant speed ups. No, we're not. We're gonna use our quick use because we don't wanna use any of our diamonds right now. Boom, we could get into opportunities inside of the game. And level six unlocks a whole bunch of new buildings that I could build, upgrade, etc., etc. As you notice on the left hand side, there are new things that I could get. So I'm gonna get a lumber yard, which I'm gonna put right next to or near my old one. Boom, we're gonna pop that right there. We could also get what is the other thing? Another, ooh, this is cool. I'm gonna drop this right over here. We have to actually do some restructuring of our space which, you know what, maybe we'll do that at a different time to make it look all really nice and pretty. But this is gonna be able to have us train different types of troops because here you have an engine barracks and what we've already created here, we have other barracks as well. Let's go inside and train up some infantry units. We're gonna also come over here. We're gonna train up some of our ranger ranged units and over here, our rider barracks. I have to tell you, uh, alongside of you know, working for the day. It was really fun playing on Bluestacks. It was super easy for me to just kind of have it on another monitor, work here, play there, going through the grinds. I don't typically play all the games that I play on Bluestacks. Some of the games aren't available, but the Kingdom Builders play very, very nice on Bluestacks. Again, my link to play this one is in the description, Doomsday again is the name of it. Now you notice I'm hitting these hands, that's shaking hands, that's because I'm part of an alliance and when you're in an alliance, you help one another with your progression. It really is a very quick way for you to progress things. Also notice I'm clicking on the green. This is me getting experience and gaining rewards for having completed things that I've done in the game because we've progressed, like I said, quite a bit. But you probably wanna see what the campaign looks like, what some of the battles look like. And again, this is battle campaign. This is not end game of the game. This is like the story that's gonna take you through and allow you to get some upgrades and stuff. So we have a pretty big battle right here. It's gonna, can we play it on normal? Oh, I completed on normal, so now we gotta go over here. Oh, I have, I have a slight disadvantage, which makes me worry that I may lose here. I wonder if I could do any upgrades. Let's see if I can go ahead and upgrade any of my heroes to possibly make it so that I have an advantage. It looks like I can get an upgrade over here. We're gonna level up. Boom, that's what we're talking about. I don't know if that's gonna be enough to give me uh, even an even matchup, but hopefully it will be, because we're gonna give it a shot. Win or lose, you guys are gonna be part of this one because we did just complete the campaign on normal. Now we're gonna do it on challenge. So let's go. It's still a slight disadvantage. Let's build your, your advice to We're challenging now. 
If I lose, I lose. Love the graphics inside of the game, by the way. All right, so we're gonna come on over here. It's like, uh, it actually reminds me quite a bit of another uh, Kingdom Builder survival style game, State of Survival. Very similar mechanics, plays really well too. And like I said, I've been very impressed with how smooth the game is. I have had zero crashes all day. I'm recording this at 4.15 and I started playing this at 9 a.m. I have not turned it off amongst all the stress that my computer has been under for work as well. So uh, super impressed with all that. All right, so let's see what we could do right here. I, I'm getting the feeling that we're not gonna be able to pull in a victory, but we are definitely gonna try. We're gonna put barricade right here and we're gonna keep the guys back. I'm gonna try and drop another barricade and here we go, another barricade right there. Cha-ching. Our barricades are in place. I'm gonna show you some of the abilities. Win or lose, you're gonna get to see what battles kind of look like. Obviously the barricades, they're being done by this guy. We have this guy right here. He's got the shotgun and a big shotgun blast. I'm gonna actually move him forward. Oh, I, I'm gonna move him over here. Get a little closer so we can get some more shots. Ooh, maybe not. Maybe I should get him out of that poison. Yeah, I don't, I don't like him over there. Come on, over here, buddy. Get out of the poison. That wasn't the smartest move I just made right there. I'm gonna go ahead and put up another barricade just to try and slow things. Oh, good thing I did because they just took that barricade down. Now there's a lot coming from far. So I'm gonna try to go like this and give it a little zap to everybody. Look at that, all right. That was one of the skills that we have. I'm gonna go with another barricade right here. Boom, just trying to slow them down. Let's get, oh my God, there's a big guy coming too. We have a shotgun right here. Boom, that's the shotgun blast. We got another barricade I'm gonna drop right here as well. Oh man, now, oh my God, my shotgun guys, he goes down, oh no, okay. I guess I should have upgraded things because we are about to be smoked by these guys. It's one V too many zombies and I, I felt ambitious. I felt like I could get in there and do it. Maybe I was just being cocky because there's no way. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get taken down right here. Ah, uh, well, oh wait. Can, that actually put more damage into him than I thought it was going to. All right, we'll level up, recruit, retry, do all that later on. But I wanna show you guys other elements of the game as well because this is not just you being inside of your base no there's a whole other world outside of this world if you click on the region on the bottom you'll notice i am in a whole world of other people and uh other things to do things to attack this is where we get the kingdom builder element to the game i'm gonna go back into my shelter and i want to come on over here to the radar notice that there are things on the map that i can go take care of one of those things is a uh a pickup it's gonna go get me some of these right here i'm gonna use some of my energy it's gonna get me some stuff bring it back that's gonna help me progress things in my base as the time goes on i'm gonna come back over here because there are also battles so i have some zombies i can go after which will give me some pieces to upgrade my heroes which is important because well as you just saw my heroes need a bit of an upgrade now i'm going in with one of the heroes and a bunch of troops in behind they're gonna go take part in this battle. They're marching their way over there. Look at this. My alliance is D34K and my name is Echo Gaming. But you probably already know that. All right, so here we go, taking them down. That's gonna be nice and easy. I'm gonna sit back. Hmm. Victory rewards in my pocket. Now come on over here. You'll notice we claim the rewards. Come on over here, claim those rewards as well. But notice there is a larger battle here, this red one. It's a legendary battle and I get better rewards for competing in this battle. Let's see, I'm gonna create my squad. We're gonna see, it's an even, I'm evenly matched. Oh boy, that's scary. We're gonna go in and try and do it. It's right outside of my establishment, so let's see if I can get it done. Now, if I do lose, it's okay. I can heal up my troops, and I'll show you that element of the game next. Whether I win or lose, I'm still gonna have troops that take damage and get injured, and I'm gonna have to heal them in my home base. I would really love to take this one down, uh, I don't know. It's, it, it is very close. I'm looking at the yellow lines on both of us. Looks like the elite executioner has a small advantage over me. I think that they're going to win. Let's see if I can come out with some skills really quickly. Looks like I am a little bit ahead on my ultimate. So if I do get it before them, I could just squeak past. Oh my gosh. Oh, am I taking too much damage here? It's so close. It's so close. Here we go. Another ultimate right there. Dropping tons of damage on them. I, I'm feeling I'm feeling like we may go down in this one again. This is not a good showing from your boy, but it's all right because you know why? 
all at the same time. This is a lot of fun to do. And this is very early on. This is like day one of full grinding. The game has so much more to it as far as, you know, your typical kingdom builders go. And here we go. Your boy just goes down. Oh, all right, let's get back in here. We're going back into our home base. Notice I can come over here and heal up my troops. I need to do that because, well, they're injured, they're hurt, and uh, it's not a good feel. Notice we also have resources that we collect all the time as well. We're always training up our troops over here, and we can always upgrade things as well because you need to continuously upgrade things so that you can get your further progression. What do we have right here? Oh, we could do our rallies and stuff. Haven't participated in any of that yet. And it looks like we may have some zombies approaching. Let's see. We'll take all of them down. I do have my barracks set up. So that kind of protects my whole village as well. Looks like we may have got a whole, gotten a few extra people. Like I said, the characters here are pretty goofy, but really cool looking at the same time. I actually like it. We have Andrew Morris and he's going to be joining us. Liam uh, doing the little welcoming right here. And, uh... Here we go, back into the village itself. Now, Beacon of Hope, we just got our rewards from that. More rewards coming through. And now, if you want to see the kind of things that you get inside of the game, there's a whole bunch of stuff inside of your bag. So I just, I'm going to max out these. These are a bunch of resources that we've gotten. You get speed ups to make things happen more quickly, the way that you saw my city hall get uh, upgraded quickly. Buffs, materials, and other things. A lot of these other things are for my commanders to get them the fragments to get them upgraded, experience to get them upgraded as well, and of course the stars, the badges to get them upgraded as well. So there's some really nice features that become something standard that we're used to and that we enjoy inside of Kingdom Builders. It's something that we could also get in here. Now we have something else going on. There's some type of a defense that not, and these are the guys we're gonna go with. Let's go try and defend right here and see how this goes. This is all part of the story that begins when you, uh, when you start out the game. All right, we're setting up our defense right now. All right, another zombie alerts. So this is kind of like the campaign that we saw earlier on. We have some coming in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up a little bit more barricades right here. And this, I don't, I think this is gonna be a lot easier than what we just encountered when we were when we were struggling a little bit. I'm gonna go and get an electric bomb right there. Electrocute those guys a little bit. Now they are stuck on my fences, which is really good. We're able to keep them back. Notice there's 240 something zombies left. You see the counter up top. I'm gonna go with a shotgun right here. Did I, did I, there we go, there's my shotgun. We'll blast them back. I'm gonna go here and electrocute them back as well. Looks like my barricades have been destroyed. I need to get some new ones up. Uh-oh, I'm being rushed. Shotgun, oh my gosh, I need a barricade. I need a barricade right quick, right there. Barricade, no! Oh my, 145 left. I'm in big trouble. I am in big trouble. This is what happens when I sit and I grind the game all day, and then I decide that I'm gonna sit down and record and, and share my experience with you after I grind it, and I get to the really hard part. I legit was not being defeated, really at all. Looks like progression needs to happen. We need to work on our commanders a little bit, and that's okay, because that's part of what we do inside of the game. So let's go to our heroes really quickly. Really, there's not much that I could do right now with my heroes. I'm still waiting for these upgrades to be able to happen. And I don't have enough fragments. So when you don't have enough of these fragments, you're going to go ahead and start searching for more. And you're going to be doing that in like examples like this. I'm going to go out, find them in the wild. We're going to attack, get these fragments, and we're going to utilize those to upgrade our, our heroes so that we can then start winning these battles that we've been just getting smoked on over and over again. At the end of the day, the end game inside of these kingdom builders is not for you to be upgrading your, your city, upgrading your establishment. The end game is to upgrade your heroes, to upgrade your buildings, and to upgrade your troops, but you're gonna utilize those so you could battle other real people in the real world inside of the game. That's what Kingdom Builders are all about. That's why we play Kingdom Builders, and the progression that we use to get there along the way is a real fun experience. So let's go ahead and go after one more of these. We're gonna go after them right here. We're gonna create our, I'm gonna actually wait for him to go back. Yeah, we'll march him right over there because after we get this, I think we'll have enough of the fragments to upgrade another one of our heroes a little bit, just so you can see what that progression looks like. If we don't, we don't, and it's okay. But if you ask me, Doomsday is a really nice example of a kingdom builder 
that you guys could play. And I really do like it on blue stacks, as I mentioned earlier on in the video. It just plays super smooth, super nice. And like I said, reminds me of State of Survival, which is actually also available on uh, on blue stacks as well. Go into my shelter, go into my heroes. Do I have enough fragments for him? I thought I would, but it looks like we don't. Now inside of the event center, we have tons of things that we could do every single day. You have the event calendar, news inside of the game, and all of these different activities that you can get yourself involved in. And you get rewards for participating in all of them as well, which again are gonna further help you grind through the game. And uh, it's really nice that there's so much to do all the time because whenever you log in, well, you just always have something to do and you don't find yourself being bored inside of the game and you can really just continuously enjoy it. So again, if you wanna join me inside of Doomsday Last Survivor, my link is in the description of this video for you to download it on Bluestacks, which you can then play on mostly any PC. It runs so darn smooth. Hope you enjoyed the video and have a better idea of my first look into this one and my impressions of the game. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.